guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm in the same outfit that I was in yesterday <laughs> because, you know, I wear clothes more than once and yesterday I had like a different top underneath and today I don't have any top underneath, I'm just wearing a hoodie as my top and, you know, some days we wear clothes more than once. Normalise it. Normalise it. Today is day 13 I believe, day 13 of my DIY advent calendar like I say in all of my videos if you have no idea what DIY advent calendar is go check the description bar down below I just describe the premise of this video quite fittingly the description is in the description bar so if you have no idea what this is, your first time here hello, welcome, go read that, pause this right now go read it, understand it, digest it, love it, come back up click play and let's get into it. Day 13, day 13 is up here. It sounds empty. That means there's a post-it note. I'm scared. I feel very disheveled today. Right, post-it note. Bam, 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 bam. Why does it have so much written on it? Your all-time favourite palette from your stupidly large collection. Oh. Okay, so your all-time favourite palette from your stupidly large collection. I'm guessing he means eyeshadow palette because like palette, he wouldn't refer to a face palette like that. Favourite palette? Bear with. I think I'm going to go with this. I was debating not to, simply because it's actually not even available anymore. Like it's not, <laughs> you can't buy this. Um, this was limited edition, maybe, oh, crumbs. <sighs> probably pushing on five, six years ago now, if I'm thinking about it, maybe five, six years ago. This is the Urban Decay uh, Vice 4, I believe Vice 4? Vice 4. Looks like this. Mine's a little bit dishevelled. I keep it in the case because um, the holographicness, I don't know if you can see that, like the holographic is slightly wearing off in places and I don't want it to because I love it so much. Like this thing is beaten up. Let me see if I can get really close. I don't know if you can tell how beaten up this thing is. It doesn't look it because I've really tried to protect it with the case later on in its life. I actually did use this as an iPad case back in the day. Um, but this is probably, like, if I had to talk about a palette that I will never declutter, it's really difficult for me. Okay, rewind. Really difficult for me because I actually love eyeshadows so, so much. And I've got a couple of eyeshadow palettes I will just never declutter. The Urban Decay Electric palette, one that I will just never, ever, ever, ever declutter. Like, I just love that palette. But I, I don't know. Like, I don't really have a favourite palette of all time. It says your all-time favourite palette from your large collection. Like, I don't have a palette that's my favourite. I have favourites. But then... For example, if I was going to pick the Electric palette as my fav one of my favourite palettes, it's not something I'd pick if I could only have one palette ever, you know? Um, but this palette, I just feel like it had a massive mirror, it was brilliant, it came with a brush, beautiful, beautiful packaging. Although it was big, it wasn't too thick, it was actually quite slim. The shades themselves are quite big as well, so you get quite a lot of pan in there. Um, it's a beautiful colour, sorry, you get some pops of colour, but you also have some really nude, beautiful colours as well. Let me get a bit closer for you. It doesn't look like much, but I promise you, it, this palette, like, it looks like nothing when you look at it in the pan. You're like, how boring. But this is amazing, this palette. Like, this palette is beautiful and... I'm very excited to play with it today. I could have chosen anything, but I feel like bringing this relic out. Why not? Because I know how this palette performs, it doesn't have that much fallout. And if it does, like, I can just swipe it away. So I want to go do the rest of my face. And I shall be right back and we will play with this palette. Okay, I have finished my makeup, like my base and everything. I'm just going to do the eyes. Everything that I use in today's video is in the description bar below. It always is. So if you're ever curious what's on my face, whoops, if you're ever curious what's on my face, I will always put it in the description bar below with a what's on my face little segment. If you're wondering about anything else, just ask and I will always tell you, but uh, I'm not going to sit here and link things for the sake of it if you don't want to know it, so... Getting a little bit up close and personal now. Um, we're going to go into this palette. I've already said out loud to myself, Megan, you're not allowed to play around with the greens. Because I've done enough green looks to sink an actual battleship. Um, I was going to go for my classic look that I always applied to my face, which was Bitter, which is one of my favourite shadows, even to this day. If I ever created a palette, I would include a shade like Bitter, because it's so scrumptious it's just like this orangey brown and it's just so lovely and then we have blaze is it flame not blaze flame 
I'm sorry, Flame here, which is beautiful orangey, like flip colour. It's, it's, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Um, or do I want to play around with the purples? I think I want to do like a warm crease and then sort of contradict it with this beautiful silver and this cool toned brown. These two colours are stunning. And then we've got like this golden shade. I think I'm trying to have a little play. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to point to the shades and apply them on my face because that's the quickest way of doing it. I don't really need to describe anything to you, so I'm going to just point to the shades and apply them on my face. I'm just going to keep you zoomed in whilst we just talk about the eye makeup because of course we're featuring this palette. The makeup is completely done now, I haven't done lashes just because I applied lashes yesterday and whenever I apply lashes, it's not like my eyes aren't that sensitive to be fair but I do find that my, like I need to give my eyelashes a break from them otherwise they do seem to fall out quite a bit. They're not very good at being tugged at if that makes any sense but I would normally if I was to go out with this apply maybe just some half lashes just something to really boost and deepen up that outer corner it's just something I personally like as a preference I've got fallout on my nose I love that for myself love that I really really love the deep blue like smoky blue on the lower lash line and this beautiful silver and because I put the cool tone silver with the warm uh, bitter shade that warm orangey brown it actually brings the look into kind of a neutral tone and then we have obviously that cool toned blue I just really really love it I also did apply um a what's this called an eyeliner <laughs> I applied an eyeliner in my lower like my waterline my lower lash line and I just think that really helps deepen the look up a little bit more um of course you could 
not do this if you wanted to but I'm really trying to use my eyeliners nowadays I really don't do it and then when I do it I notice the difference so I've applied that blue liner I'll list obviously everything that I use in this video in the description bar down below so you can go check that out um I would love to apply some lashes with these I'd also love to maybe do a really smoky black um pencil liner something like my pixie black noir liner really smoke that out but I just didn't really think about it until I put the mascara on but I really really like this I think this is a lovely palette I mean I've owned this now for I mean how old am I 23 I want to say I got it when I was 16 or 15 if you have this palette too let me know do you own the Urban Decay Vice 4 I'm kind of kicking myself that I never bought all the other vices but at that time in my life I did not have the money to splurge on makeup like I do now my paying job was like a, I can't even remember I think I was earning like 30 pounds a week something like that when I first bought this palette and then I went to a weekend job and was only earning like 300 pounds a month and I was paying for a car like you know I didn't have the money to splurge on a 40 to 50 pound palette every time I saw one so I don't regret it but like if I had my time again and I had the money that I have now not that I'm like bougie with loads of money I'm not saying that at all but what I'm saying is I can afford a palette if I want to buy one um it was just such a brilliant palette and it brings me such memories and yeah I really really like it if you own this palette do tell me because I'm interested to know what your thoughts are and if you have the same or similar memories attached to it or if it's just me like is it the palette or is it just because I was young and it was my first bougie palette, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you have. Let me know that you are loving these videos by smashing that thumbs up button. It just lets me know that you are receiving this video well. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every single week and currently every single day. I know we are still behind with advent calendar, but you know, I'm trying my hardest. So subscribe and ring the bell because there will be videos every single week, at least at the moment moment so yeah you don't want to miss out on that thank you once again guys for watching i hope you have enjoyed once again and i will see you in my next one bye